We're in the 2K again and this time we're going to do a kind of how well we know each other video uh, where we ask each other a series of questions and try and guess each other's answers to them. One person will be sitting on that chair behind me with their ears closed and then the other will just be answering the questions and then we rotate and see if we got the answer right. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Okay guys, these are the questions. Ooh. So, the first one is what's your favourite golf club? My favourite golf club is probably my six iron or my fairway. But I'm going to say my six iron. And then his favourite club, I think, is a. I think his favourite's a hybrid. I'm not too sure. I think it is. I do not feel my favourite golf club is probably my 7 iron. I think Jasmine's favourite golf club is her Freewood. What ball do you play with? I play with Titleist and I think Jasmine plays with Titleist too. I'm pretty sure. What ball do you play with? I play with a Titleist um, and Cameron plays with a... He probably plays with random balls, I'm not going to lie. I think he just plays with random balls. What's your favourite golf course? My favourite golf course is probably Scottsdale, when we played in Phoenix. And I think Cameron's is the same. What's your favourite golf course? Well, my favourite golf course is Starfire Golf Course in Phoenix, Arizona. I think my sister's favourite golf course is Starfire Golf Course as well. I've got a feeling that she, she likes the same one as me. What's our favourite hole on our home course? Well, our home course has lots of good holes. I think my favourite's number 15. It's really good. And... It's quite a good feeling when you birdie it. I think my sister's favourite hole is 16 because everyone likes that one. My favourite hole on our home course is 16 because it's got an air raid bunker and like you go into it so you can't see the green from the tee box. And Cameron's, hmm, 15 because he did well on that one in our recent comp. I think it's 15. What's our least favourite club? My least favourite club is Pitching Wedge probably. I don't really like it. Um, I use my sand to pitch and I use my nine as like a full swing, so Pitching Wedge probably. Cameron's is, I think it might be his fairway, his fairway driver. <laughs> What's our least favourite club? My least favourite club is my five iron because I barely hit it. It's not part of my set and it's really hard to hit straight. And I think my sister probably got that one. I think her least favourite club. I think her least favourite club. I'm going to go for a bit of a weird one here. I think it's her eight iron. She doesn't normally use it and I don't think she's too good at it. So, yeah. What's our least favourite hazard on the golf course? Well, there's not that many options for it, but I think mine... One probably lakes because one go, one once it goes in there, oh, you're dead. And I definitely know my sister's one is bunkers. She's recently been quite good at it, but before it was really hard. So I'm going to say hers is bunkers, and I'm pretty sure she's got this one. What's my least favourite hazard on the golf course? Bunkers, definitely. I hate bunkers. I've got, recently, I've got quite good at them, but I still don't like them. They're really hard to get out of, especially if you're plugged. And Cameron's, I think, is lakes. He likes to look at them, but I don't think he likes going in them. Well, no one does, but I think it's quite hard, because they're normally 
on the fairways and bunkers. He's quite good at bunkers, so I think it's leaks. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost count. Um, what's your prefer favourite professional competition we've been to? My favourite is the BMW Championship. That was pretty cool. We met some really cool people. I think it was Lexi Thompson. Uh, my sister got her high five. I think my sister's favourite was the Open where she saw Rory McIlroy. That must have been really sick. So yeah, I think I've got that one as well in the back. And what's your favourite professional competition that we've been to? I'm going to say the Open. I went to the 151st last year, which you can also watch down below. Um, but it was terrible weather. It was rainy, windy, just awful constantly the whole day but I still loved seeing all of the good players I saw Rory McIlroy, Tommy Fleetwood, Morikawa, Matsuyama and the top tens so that was amazing and I enjoyed it so much. Cameron's is probably the BMW championships I think it was that we went to we really enjoyed it there were tons of games um putting competitions so yeah I think it's I think it's that one favorite method for yardage my favorite method for yardage is definitely the bushnell to get pinpoint accurate and close in on it and it's a really cool gadget to have I think my sister's favorite is the Garmin watch because um she likes to have it on her hand, doesn't have to take it out, and doesn't take as much time. So yeah, who are these people in the back? Weird. We have to move because someone just sat on our table we kind of and didn't even ask us. We kind of had to have a bit of a position swap. Oh shoot! <laughs> they just literally walked fast. Okay, we're just having a little position swap. We only have a few left, um, so everyone will just return as normal. How many golf sets have we had? Well, I've had quite a few over the years and I've grown, so I'd say five? I'm not sure. My sister, I don't think she's had as many. Probably five as well. How many golf sets have we had? I've had... I think I've had four and Cameron's had three. Uh -huh. What's the trickiest course we've played? Wow, lots of tricky ones. I've got to say La Mer in France. Um, it's actually the 2K, um, literally just a mile away from us right now. Um, it's really hilly. Well, some holes are really hilly. Lots of gorse and cabbage everywhere. And my sisters, I think she'll probably say Playitas, the one in Mary Island. So it was really, it was really volcanic. So it was quite dry, and the bunkers had lots of hard stones, and it was really hard to dig it out. So that's what I think to say. It's a bit of outside of the box, but it's a good try. Mm -hmm. This is the trickiest course you've played. Hmm. Trickiest cold course I've played is probably the one we did today, which is La Mer. Um, but surprisingly, me and Cameron didn't do that badly on it. And I think Cameron's is probably the same. Or, no, it's probably the same. What's our longest drive? My longest drive is 235 yards. And Cameron's is probably 220. So. What's our longest drive? Well, my longest drive is a bit further than I normally drive it because it was very downhill and it was in the summer. Uh, but I remember the yardage being 229. It was, it was a really good strike and I don't do that very often. I think my sister's longest drive was nearly 250. I'm going to go for 248 um, and she, she she normally hits it quite far and she gets lots of distance on it. So yeah, she's a very good driver of the ball. Ah, oh, sorry guys. Bit of a issue. Um, golf idol. My golf idol is Max Homer because I love his swing. Max Homer. Well, it's a bit of an odd one to pick because you've got like Tiger Woods and McIlroy and everything. But I think definitely Max Homer because his swing is so smooth and pure. Um, and I think my sister's is definitely Rory McIlroy. She she likes him a lot. 
in terms of golf and she obviously saw him at the open so that helped a lot my favorite golf idol is probably rory McIlroy because <laughs> i saw him once at the 151st open and he has a really nice swing and he's a really nice guy cameron's is i remember him saying i'm like I think it's Max Homer or something. I think he's American. So yeah, I think that's what it is. What's our favorite golf shot we've ever hit? That's a tricky one. I remember one, I was eight years old and it was a greenside bunker. I think it was a ninth hole. And it was, oh no, it was a fairway bunker. And I hit like a fluke, it was a fluke. And I hit a really nice shot and it just went left and it curved round and it went into the hole. And I was so happy, but I didn't show it. And then I remember the coach saying how well it was and telling all the parents. So I felt really happy then. So I think it must be that. I don't think Cameron will know that though. And Cameron's is, I remember in our home club and we were playing, I can't remember what hole it was, but he said after the round that he sunk a 40 foot putt and that's very long. I think it must have been that because I don't think you can get any other putt that long. Wait, which one are we on? Um, what's our favourite golf shot we've ever hit? Oh, this is a good one. Part three and I hit my seven iron. It bounced in off the contours and went to about 50, nearly 60 feet. It was winding like that and I sunk the putt and it was such a good feeling for Birdie. It was, it was so good. Oh, wow. I still can't believe I did that. It's just his favorite golf shot. Not really sure. I think she got one really close in the eighth at her home club. She got them two and nearly got an eagle. That was a really hard hole and she avoided a big pit. Our dream place to play golf. My dream place is Phoenix, Arizona. Well, we already went, but actually no, my favorite place would be Augusta, Georgia because it's such a historical place in golf and it's probably the best course that anyone has ever played and anyone has ever made in the world, ever. And my sister's dream place I think it's Florida to play golf, like the palm trees and the warm weather, very humid, very nice and she would love the conditions there. The last question is what's our dream place to golf? I did really like Phoenix, Scottsdale. I think it might be Pebble Beach. It looks very nice. I saw it on the golf simulator um, and it just looks so nice and I love to go to a golf university in america as well so i think it might be that cameron's i think it's phoenix because he always talks about it so i think it's still phoenix change of plan we had one last question that we forgot about so the last question is what's the thing you can't play without i probably can't play without my monkey head cover we got it when we went to madeira um, in porto santo and um, they had a really nice golf course. It's not on the YouTube because we went quite a while ago now, wait, three years. And I think Cameron's is probably a cap because he's always wearing a cap and it's that Titleist one and he has a lot of caps. So I think it's a cap. Last question. What's the thing that you can't play without? I can't play without a cap because I just like something on my head and it feels really good. I can't play without it with just my bare head. And I have one which has a magnetic, magnetic ball marker, like magnet. And so I put my ball marker on it and just take it off and slip back on when I need to mark my ball. I think my sister's probably her golf shoes. She needs to wear her golf shoes because you can't play in trainers. It just doesn't feel right. And especially they've got spikes and grips to grip the terrain and to keep me from like sliding and slipping everywhere. After doing all the questions, I didn't think I know my sister very well. No, me well, neither. I should probably know her very more well because it's both our favourite sports and at least twice every week, so. Not good enough. No.
Thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure to like and subscribe and, and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell to get notified <laughs> when we post some more videos. Bye!